So guys, I'm super excited to test out a new vlogging setup that I'm using right now. The iPhone 13 paired with the DJI OM5 gimbal and the wireless microphone by DJI. In the past, I've tried out different vlogging setups. And as you know, I like to keep things simple because I don't want to carry around a bunch of gear. So I'm curious to see how this new setup will do and if it could improve my vlogging game. Gonna hop on this boat right here. <sighs> How's it going everyone? Benic Razor here with SmartphoneFilmmaking.com, the number one online school for mobile creators wanting to take their mobile video skills to the next level. Today I have a new vlogging setup that I want to test out and see if it's an improvement. As you know, vlogging has become a big part of my work lately and I've been experimenting with different ways to make vlogs more engaging and fun. Especially when traveling, I want a small light vlogging setup that I can easily take with me. The entire video will be recorded on the iPhone 13 using the DJI Home 5 and the DJI Mic so that you can see how well this setup performs. Now I'm currently in San Diego spending time with my brother and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to uh, test out this new vlogging setup and bring you guys along for the ride. Hey, how's it going, bro? Good. Long time no see. This is my Silverton 322 motor, nice. yeah. Nice. All right, why don't you come on uh, to my balcony? This is it. This is just my version of the of a balcony. It's a good time. Uh, I throw great parties here when it's beautiful like this. Uh, yeah, we take her out. Well, let me show you uh, the front of the ship. We call it the bow. Why don't you go down that way and I'll go down okay. this way. This is the front of the ship. We call it the bow. And here you have beautiful seating space to, you know, enjoy the view. And that's my room down there, right? Yeah, that's right. Should we go inside? Let's go inside. All right, let's step into the cabin. All right, this is the main salon here. There's only one. You guys may call it a living room, but this is the, this is the saloon where we hang out. Nice. Oh, is that you, by the way? <laughs> this picture? Oh yeah, yeah, that is me. That was me three years ago when I used to work out a lot, lot more. This is a full-size bed. You can sleep uh, two people here comfortably. Oh yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh wow. Oh yeah. It feels comfortable too. I mean, my room is over there. I, I sleep like a baby. Let's first talk about the camera setup that I have going on here. The camera I'm using is the iPhone 13, which is actually my brother's, and I'm using his phone instead of the iPhone 13 Pro Max because the DJI OM5 can handle the weight better of both the iPhone 13 and the DJI Mic. The DJI OM5 is a great gimbal, especially for vloggers, as it has a built-in extension rod to have the camera further away from you to fit more in the frame. Otherwise, without the extension rod, it would look like this. I would have the camera up way closer to me, which doesn't feel comfortable over a long period of time. Now, what's also great is that you can get unique angles with the extension rod, uh, including low shots that are usually hard to do when holding the camera in your hand. I know that in some of my videos, I use the DJI OM4, and I still think it's an excellent gimbal, but when it comes to vlogging, I actually prefer the DJI OM5 because of its extension rod. Using a gimbal to vlog also allows me to get stable shots, which is important when you're moving around. Even though most smartphones have good built in image stabilization sometimes it isn't enough and a gimbal can further help stabilize your shots so let's talk about the DJI mic and some of its highlights. The main reason why I wanted to use this mic was not only for the boost in audio quality, but also for the wireless connection. What's great is the dual channel allows me to record two different audio sources. Both transmitters include a built-in microphone, each carrying eight gigabytes of storage with a recording time of 14 hours. And what's also great, it creates a backup of your recordings. Each battery unit lasts up to 5.5 hours, which is pretty good. I love how two transmitters are included as I can mount one on my brother's shirt and the other one on myself. This way we can both be hands-free while still getting good audio quality like you've seen at the beginning of this video where Brian made a tour of his boat. Now each transmitter has a built-in clip for attaching to clothes and also includes a clip magnet for placement on thin clothing. I like how the receiver has a built-in touch screen so I can easily see the audio levels. This is really important. You can also monitor the audio levels using earphones, which is a convenient way to keep track of the audio without taking your eyes off the camera. The mic also comes with a windshield, which significantly reduces wind noise. 
especially out here on the boat, you can hear the blowing wind, but with the windshield, it's barely noticeable. What separates the DJI mic from the Rode Wireless Go 2 is that the DJI includes a charging case. I like how all the components are in one place and I can easily charge the mic on the go, which is important for mobile creators. In terms of audio quality, I find that the DJI mic produces great audio quality, if not a bit better than the Rode Wireless Go 2. You'll be the judge of it as throughout this video, I'll be just using the DJI mic. Now, something I forgot to mention is that with the receiver, I can plug it to the side of the gimbal. And the great thing is that it runs without any cables, which makes things a lot easier and cleaner. And I can also move around a lot more freely without having to worry about tangled cables. This vlogging setup works so well because I can use the gimbal to create smooth shots while producing clean audio quality without having the wireless mic blocking the gimbal. And I hadn't had any issues so far while performing different gimbal modes. So this is really great. So as for the camera settings, regardless of what app I'm using, I shoot my B-roll in 4K 60 frames per second and the A-roll in 4K 25 frames per second. 4K provides a higher resolution to work with to reframe my shots in the edit without worrying about quality loss. And 60 frames per second allows me to slow down the footage to create my epic B-roll shots. For the talking head part, I keep it at 25 frames per second as I don't plan on slowing down the footage. I prefer using the native camera app or Filmic Pro when it comes to vlogging as I'm familiar with both video apps. However, if I want to take advantage of the DJI on 5's full features, the DJI Mimo app is a great option. Uh, I talk a lot about it in this video, which you can check out if you're interested. I enjoy using the smart tracking feature, especially as it's useful and helps keep the subject centered in the frame. This way you won't have to worry about being cut out. So depending on your vlog shooting needs, you'll have to decide for yourself what works best for you. So I hope you enjoyed that little tour that my brother gave. We're about to cast off and head out to San Diego Bay. Let's head out. I have the windshield on and uh, I have no idea how it will sound like, but it should sound pretty decent, I hope. So now I'm gonna fly my drone here. Uh, Brian will drive his boat uh, through this channel. Hope everything goes well. You ready? All right. All right, guys, we're coming to an end. So far, I'm really liking the new setup and I think it will definitely help me create better vlogs. Pairing the iPhone 13 with the DJI OM5 and the DJI mic makes it the ultimate mobile vlogging setup. The iPhone 13 is an excellent camera with stunning video capabilities. The DJI OM5 helps smoothen the footage, making your videos look more professional. The DJI mic allows you to capture even better and cleaner audio quality, not to mention the wireless uh, connection. Combining all three creates a mobile vlogging setup that is fast and easy to use and produces great results. If you're someone who enjoys vlogging and wants to make vlogging a part of your content creation, then this setup is for you. Now guys, if you wanna be serious about filming with your phone and want to create stunning videos, make sure to check out the Smartphone Filmmaking course where you can join other students in learning how to create beautiful smartphone videos. It has over five hours of exclusive content and is growing daily and covers everything from planning and shooting your videos to editing your final product. Also make sure to download my free smartphone filmmaking guide, which includes my 10 step process to filming great videos with your smartphone. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more smartphone filmmaking tutorial. Thank you so much guys for watching. Keep it mobile and I'll see you in the next video.